social media for the whole day, but also dominated face-to-face -face conversations. Safaricom's symbol of success. That was Bob Colimo, a man who inspired through his leadership values. With bouts of ailment, the icon faded from the public radar in recent months and the news of his death was a wave of disbelief and astonishment to the nation. How are we supposed to do that? Maybe it depends on the settings of your phone. <laughs> <laughs> Burial preparations are already set. Colimo will be buried on Tuesday at a special ceremony to be held away from the public eye. Only family, close friends and relatives will have access to the final send-off of a man said to have a deep understanding of Safaricom's DNA. There will be a private um, interment uh, process tomorrow. Safaricom's board also announced plans for a memorial service towards the end of the week. Later on in the week, hopefully Thursday or Friday, there will be uh, a memorial service uh, for all those who knew and cared for Bob. And more information on this will be shared uh, through us and as well as through uh, Bob's family. Despite rare public appearance in his final days, he held a special place in the consciousness of the nation. Twitter was abuzz with condolence messages. State House said Kolimo's inspirational life will remain a great legacy. Business mogul Chris Kirubi remembered him as a distinguished leader who greatly contributed to national building. Baringo Senator Gideon Moy termed Bob as simple and focused, even as the company remained profitable while breaking new grounds in innovation. ANC leader Musalia Mudavadi remembered the corporate leader for his commitment to charity. In a press statement, Bidco chairman Vimal Shah wrote that Bob has left a big mark in the corporate world and his passion about Africa and doing good was remarkable. Chief Justice David Maraga eulogized Bob as a towering symbol of corporate governance. Other Kenyans too poured kind messages to the departed soul, whose last tweet was a demand to the end of criminalization of rape in Senegal a clear indication of his humanitarian heart. Those who met him and those who only heard of him described him as an icon and a deity of kindness. We remember him by the, the how, how do we call it, many promotions in Safaricom that has lifted the people. He was so humble, people loved him. He was a good businessman. He made a lot of profit for the company. Following the concluded burial plans, giant telco Safaricom says it will continue to focus on Bob's legacy by remembering a man who achieved more of what could be expected of any leader. I 